The third category of reactions of alkyl halides are reaction with metals. First in the category is the reaction with magnesium. The reaction with magnesium leads to the formation of an organometallic compound which is called Grignard's reagent. So when any alkyl halide is reacted with magnesium, of course we have to keep the medium of dry ether. What we get is RMGX which is called Grignard's reagent. The simplest example is when ethyl bromide is reacted with magnesium in dry ether. What we get is this compound which is called ethyl magnesium bromide. Now Grignard reagent is called organometallic compound because it involves at least one, there is one carbon metal sigma bond, that's why it's called organometallic compound. Now these Grignard reagents are very important class of compounds because they, they here in the, from these compounds the carbon species comes out as an electrophile, sorry nucleophile. So when it comes out as a C minus charge because of course this is more electronegative than magnesium and that is why uh, we can have what a nucleophilic substitutions by these species very uh, can be taken done very easily. Now we use as a medium of dry ether, dry ether means it should be free from water the reason being the moment these uh, L Grignard reagents are exposed to what any reactive any species which is having active hydrogen like water what they do is they, they react with this H of this and forms corresponding alkane and what we get is magnesium hydroxy bromide. So therefore we try to avoid the um, aqueous medium and should be the, the wherever the Grignard reagents are prepared they should be actually uh, completely free from aqua water or aqueous medium the reason being because they completely react with these uh, active hydrogen containing species like this one to form alkane and the magnesium hydroxy bromide. So this is one category reaction and we, we will later on learn uh, many more reactions of the Grignard reagent how they are showing nucleophilic substitution reactions on the carbonyl compounds which leading to the formation of higher category or higher degrees of alcohols etc. Then the second category of reaction in the same is, is the second one a very famous one which you have done in your class 11th also is your Woods reaction. Now in this we know whenever uh, any alkyl halide is treated with sodium in again is dry ether what we get is the, the chain of the hydrocarbon is being doubled. So what we do is we do the uh, double of this one. So this is how it can be balanced. So now what we, what we need to know is the chain becomes double and that is why we know that the lim limitations of these reactions that we mean methane cannot be prepared or carbon alkanes cannot be prepared by this reaction the chain simply gets double. This reaction actually follows a free radical substitution mechanism and the alkalides are being substituted uh, by the uh, alkyl free radicals to form this type of double carbon double chain. So this is how these are the reactions which the alkyl light shows even with the metals. 